Hello everyone and welcome back to another 2K19 video. As you can see, free agency has started. And there's a lot of teams that are interested in us, but no one is willing to give us a starting role just yet. We're a nobody, of course, and you know what? That's okay. We're a nobody with potential. I'm honestly not interested in a lot of these teams, but one team that does pique my interest is the Houston Rockets. They don't have great small forward play, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do some counter offers and see what I can get. All right, they did not budge. They did not budge at all. So I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer and play for the Houston Rockets. So I'm in. I'm talking to their GM, who is uh, actually Daryl Morey in real life. So... Hmm, <laughs> what it do, youngin? Hey, appreciate you meeting with me. Yeah, you can uh thank my agent for that. Yeah? He happened to mention why I wanted to sit down? Nah, nah, you know, just told me to keep an open mind. So when you moving to a new spot? Oh, you know, a couple weeks back. Hmm. <laughs> I still remember my first check, man. Had a little Nick's logo in the top corner. <laughs> Next day, I went out and bought me a watch or a frosty. Three weeks later, on the road in Miami, hit up Nancy Pope's game. And the next morning, woke up. Two in the large, gone. You heard of insurance? <laughs> I thought I was going to play forever. Like Vince Carter collecting a paycheck and a pinch. <laughs> Last thing I remember was James Harden's grin. He hit me with that half cross, half carry thing he likes to do, and I'm waiting for the step back, and the next thing I see, black. I woke up and see this. Mama was sitting there with a Bible on her lap while the doctor told her that I had hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Means my heart muscles were so swollen, the blood couldn't pass through no more. The doctor told me I couldn't never play ball again. It's the worst day of my life. The hoop was my identity, man. It was my reason. After that, man, I just spun out, you know? People try to reach out, you know, all the dudes from around the league that you'd expect. Oh, I tried to make me feel better, but I wasn't hearing them. It wasn't long before I was back in my mama's crib in Jersey. Same single bed, flat broke. It's amazing how quick the cheese melts. Humbling. It comes for us all. Matter of fact, I still remember the first time I saw you playing the dike when you was a freshman. So cocky, you'd make LeBar ball blush. <laughs> oh, all right. So that's why you took my ankles, huh? <laughs> Man, I remember. People right. still send me gifts of that. Well, that's why you so salty, huh? Uh. Man, you are competitive. Hey. I get it. No one likes to clown it. Man, the reason I did that, though, man, you was out there stealing my shine, man. I couldn't just relinquish the crown, man. It's dyke, man. I know, man. They never let you forget. Right? Man. So we good? Yeah, man, we good. All right. See, the real reason I'm here, I want to manage you. Oh, okay. Oh. Look, Yo, man, have you ever managed anyone? I mean, technically, you're the first player I've ever even approached about this. But wait, 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 wait. wait. You know, the last few years, I was I was coaching AAU and I was finishing up my finance degree. You know, I've been paying my dues. But I, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> what's an undrafted free agent even need with a manager? You know, agent and lawyer got me covered. No, no, no. Listen, they're deal makers. I handle the day to day. I'm talking media, endorsements. Uh, for instance, how much you paying for this crib, huh? I don't know, six? Six. It's a new apartment building over on Park that's willing to let you live there rent-free if you just mention them on social media. I got a car dealership and a furniture warehouse that's willing to do the same thing. That's a new crib and a new car gratis. I mean, it might not be glamorous, but listen, you gotta think about this. Do you want to be the kid with the frosty wrist? Or the one with the diversified portfolio, huh? Look, 
Our paths wouldn't even pass a sobriety test. But we made it back. The survivors. The real ones. Just imagine what we could do together, man. That's all I'm asking. Just imagine it, man. Hey, you know what? I don't have to think about it. I'm in. We have a new place. We have a new manager. We even have some endorsements. That's crazy. Let's get it. I'm gonna move that gameplay difficulty to Hall of Fame. And I'm gonna keep it at 8 minutes right now just to see how that works out. Probably move it up to 12 in the future. But let's go get that money. Make those appearances and cash in those checks. But you know what? It's not about the endorsements. It's about playing the game. So let's get into a game and see what we can do. Mr. AI, I presume. Um, yeah, that's that's me. Marco Spinelli. But people just call me Spinelli. <laughs> okay, so uh you the uh, you the doorman? The one and only. And you're my new tenant. So, I'm here day and night. If you need anything, Anything at all? Just let me know. Okay, I will. Thanks. I can let your guests in. I can clear out the riffraff. I can help you with your game, whatever you need. Wait a minute, you you play ball? Not really. But I can help you if that's what you need. That's what I'm here for, sir. <laughs> okay, um, thanks, Spinelli. Pleasure meeting you two as well, sir. I look forward to watching your professional career blossom like a beautiful flower. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I didn't know there was going to be a cutscene there, so... Yeah, I was a little hyped over, over nothing. But now it's time to get into a game and hopefully make a name for ourselves in our debut for the Houston Rockets. Anthony Davis. What's up, AI? What's up, man? I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, man, pleasure. Yeah. Hey. You got, you get a little bigger in the offseason, man. You looking pretty swole nowadays. Yeah, man. I've been eating a lot. Oh, eating, for real? Yeah, about five, six meals a day. Are you serious? Yeah, man. But you, uh, you got a personal chef? Or are you cooking for yourself? I'll, I'll cook myself. I'll cook myself. Oh, wow. Yeah, hey, you know, I got a big kitchen in my new spot. You can uh, come through and cook for me sometime. Oh, for sure, for sure. You like pasta? Yeah. Is that your favorite thing? My favorite thing to cook. Pasta, oh. Alfredo sauce, and chicken. Alfredo sauce, I'll, and chicken? Hey, you. I can get down with that. Okay. Sure. We'll okay. do it. Set it up. All right, man, we'll do that. Hey, All have right. a good game, bro. You too, man. Good luck. See you soon. So we're finally getting into the game. We didn't start, and that was to be expected. But of course, we're on the court, and that's all that matters. Here at the Toyota Center, in front of our home crowd. I'm excited. I'm happy. But we are losing. Anthony Davis and the New Orleans Pelicans are showing us who's boss right now, and they're not making it easy. I'm going to go ahead and try to disrupt that shot, cause that miss. And I'm going to ask for the ball. Yo, James, give me the ball, baby. But Mello, of course, LaMelo, not LaMelo, Carmelo. <laughs> Shooting that ball. And that's to be expected, I guess. But Nene stealing my rebound. But I'm going to try to make a play right here. Give it to Mello. Come on, shoot it, man. The one time I need you to shoot it, you don't shoot it, Mello. Come on, bruh. Make a play. I was trying to get an assist right there. And now James being guarded by Drew Holiday, and it doesn't work out for the man. Let's see if I can get something going. I'm going to try to get a lob to Marquis Chris. Oh, but, but Harden's open in the corner. Let's get the bucket, baby. That's the first assist of the game, and I'm liking it. We're trying to make friends with James Harden, and now let's make friends with Chris Paul. Make his life easier. Get him some dinner on his plate. And look at this celebration. What is going on right now? What kind of celebration was that? That was gross. Holiday up top, passing it down to Randall. And I feel like that's Ennis guarding him. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I think it's Ennis because it doesn't look like Capella or anyone else. I feel like the weakest link to our team right now is going to be our backup power forward and backup center position. I'm not going to say they're horrible, but I don't really know what they're capable of 
at the moment, but I'm capable of knocking down a shot right there. After we get our assist, it's time to get buckets. And I'm, I'm kind of worried about what's going on. I don't really like how our offense is being run at the moment as well. Passing it up top by the top of the key to, to Clint Capella to initiate the offense doesn't seem too great. Um, but you know what? Maybe we'll get used to it and see what works out for us in the future. I'm, I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous as to what's going to be going on with our team. But um, I do get dunked on by Anthony Davis. And this is my welcome to the NBA moment right there. I'm kind of sad that that actually had to happen. But you know what? It's part of the game. Anthony Davis, though, is going to treat us out to dinner. He's going to cook at our place eventually if he ever decides to show up. I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. So... We have a friend in the NBA, we have great teammates right now in Chris Paul and James Harden and Clint Capella and all those guys playing for one of the best franchises in the NBA, probably the most, I wouldn't say liked, but probably one of the teams with the most fans, considering the fact that Yao Ming played on this team and he made it a global game. Considering all the fans we have in China, all the fans we have in Asia, it's just, it's crazy. I passed up the moment right there to take the winning shot and I regret it. I really do regret it. Um, that should have been my moment right there, but I couldn't get by my man. And I'm going to make it a point right now to never get in that moment again. If that moment happens, I'm taking the shot. That moment's on me. It's going to happen. I will be that guy. James, you don't got to worry. I might not necessarily take the shot, but I'm going to make the right play. And I'm going to make it happen. Either way. So let's see this play right here. Clint Capella throwing it down. New Orleans is winning, and you know what? They sub me out. Um, kind of sad. They win by one point, but it was double overtime if you do look closely. So it went to double overtime, and they didn't bring me back in the game after that. So that kind of hurts. Kind of hurts a little. Hey, AI, interview request for you. Come on. Well, for me? I, I barely played. They want to hear from you. AI, Griff Bryant, thanks for talking to me. Congrats on your debut. Um, thank you. Well, now, you didn't get a chance to contribute much, but I'm always interested in how new players feel with that first game in the books. What'd you think about tonight? I mean, you know, it was, it was a learning experience, that's for sure. Um, I mean, there's a lot of great guys in this team, guys that have been great at giving me advice, uh, helpful and helped me get ready for whatever the NBA is going to throw at me. Um, you know, it, it was an honor to even be a small part of that tonight. After college, you spent some time in China and then the G League. The NBA must feel like a whole new world. Uh, yeah, I mean, sort of, you know, I'm still playing basketball and I'm still part of the team, just like I was in Shanghai, you know, Fort Wayne. Um, but my time in both those places taught me a lot about what it means to be a good teammate. And, uh, you know, I just look forward to using that knowledge to help you get some W. That's refreshing to hear coming from a player that just finished his first game of the season. Listen, thanks again, AI, and congrats on the debut. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Griff. AI, you're good to go. All right. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you. For a first NBA appearance, it was uh, a doozy of a game. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thank you for watching.